Most people think sleep is measured in hours, but your brain doesn't see it that way. Every hour you sleep or don't sleep quietly changes your emotional balance, your stress levels, your memory, and the way you show up in the world. This video breaks down what actually happens inside your brain at each sleep duration. Not to judge your sleep schedule, but to understand what it reveals about your mind, your habits, and the way your nervous system copes with daily life. First, one to two hours, the brain's survival mode. With only one to two hours of sleep, your brain does not enter any real restorative process. It shifts into a state designed only to keep you conscious and functioning at the most basic level. Cortisol rises sharply. Adrenaline follows. These chemicals create a short burst of alertness that feels real, but it is powered by stress, not energy. Your prefrontal cortex becomes less active, which reduces logical thinking, emotional control, and your ability to pause before reacting. There is almost no REM sleep, which means your emotional memories are not processed. There is no deep sleep, so your body cannot repair tissue or regulate important hormones. Emotionally, this sleep duration places you in hypervigilance. Small sounds feel louder. Small problems feel heavier. You may notice yourself becoming more reactive, even if you try to hide it. Your ability to name what you're feeling also drops. This creates confusion, moments where you feel overwhelmed but can't explain why. It's not weakness. It's simply the brain trying to protect itself with very limited resources. This level of sleep is something the brain can handle for a moment, but not for long. It is the neurological equivalent of an emergency mode. Second, two to four hours, the illusion of functioning. Two to four hours of sleep often tricks people into thinking they can operate normally. You wake up with a brief sense of clarity, as if your mind is ready to work. But this clarity comes from stress hormones, not from mental restoration. Your focus may feel sharp early in the day. But as hours pass, your attention becomes unstable. Your memory becomes less reliable. Your ability to organize thoughts drifts. REM sleep is still limited, which affects emotional regulation. Deep sleep is nearly absent, which affects physical and hormonal recovery. Mentally, you may notice more overthinking. Thoughts loop. Your mind jumps between ideas without finishing any of them. Your brain struggles to form clean, logical connections, which makes decision-making more difficult. Emotionally, you become more sensitive to stress. You may feel irritation rise faster. Social interactions may drain you more than usual. It becomes harder to stay grounded because your nervous system is running on partial power. This sleep duration feels productive in the short term, but it silently increases sleep debt and emotional strain. Third, four to six hours, functional but emotionally fragile. Four to six hours of sleep is common among adults, which is why many people assume it is enough. You can go to work. You can carry conversations. You can handle your responsibilities. But inside, your brain is working much harder to keep up. Deep sleep is partially missing. REM cycles are incomplete. Your body uses stress hormones to keep you alert, which creates a sense of productivity that fades quickly when challenges appear. Your emotional balance becomes more fragile. Your tolerance for frustration lowers. You may feel focused one moment and mentally drained the next. Hormones related to hunger and mood shift out of balance. This is why you may crave more sugar, feel more irritable, or notice sudden mood swings. Your ability to see patterns and understand complex ideas also weakens slightly.
not enough to stop you from functioning, but enough to make thinking feel heavier than normal. This range is often the silent strain zone. You are functioning, but you are not recovering. Your mind is working, but at a cost you may not feel until later. Fourth, six to eight hours, the foundation of emotional stability. Six to eight hours is the range where most psychological and biological systems find balance. Your brain moves through complete REM cycles, allowing you to process emotional memories and stabilize your mood. Deep sleep is strong in this range. This is where the brain repairs itself. Hormones that regulate stress, appetite, and mood return to their normal rhythm. Your immune system strengthens, making it easier to stay healthy. The amygdala becomes less reactive, helping you respond to stress with more clarity. Your prefrontal cortex becomes more efficient, allowing you to think, plan, and evaluate situations with greater control. Memory consolidation works smoothly. Your brain removes unnecessary neural connections, which sharpens your thinking and improves learning. Emotionally, this sleep duration increases resilience. You recover faster from negative experiences. You maintain patience more easily. You feel more present in conversations and daily interactions. This sleep range creates a foundation that supports mental clarity and emotional balance throughout the day. Fifth, eight to 10 hours, deep recovery mode. Eight to 10 hours of sleep signals that your body and mind are entering a deeper level of recovery. This is common during periods of growth, learning, stress, or physical exertion. Growth hormone increases significantly, helping the body repair tissue and support long-term health. The parasympathetic nervous system, the system responsible for rest and healing, becomes more active. Emotionally, this sleep duration helps reset your internal state. Your reactions become calmer. Your mind becomes more open to new perspectives. Your emotional memory becomes clearer and more organized. Athletes often use this sleep range to enhance performance and recovery. Students may need this duration when their brains are processing new information. Anyone recovering from burnout or prolonged stress may naturally drift toward this amount of sleep. This is not a sign of laziness. It is the nervous system reclaiming energy that was lost. This sleep duration is not meant for every day, but it can be extremely beneficial when your mind needs deeper restoration. Sixth, 10 to 12 hours, when sleep becomes a signal. 10 to 12 hours of sleep is uncommon for adults, but when it happens, it often carries a message. Your mind may be healing from emotional overload. Your body may be catching up from significant stress. Your nervous system may be trying to protect itself from excessive stimulation. In this range, the brain enters prolonged deep sleep and extended REM cycles. This can help reorganize emotional memories and reduce accumulated stress. If this sleep duration happens occasionally, it is a sign of deep recovery. Your body is repairing, recalibrating, and restoring energy reserves. If it happens frequently, it may indicate that your mind or body is working through more strain than usual. Not a diagnosis, simply a signal to pay attention. The brain often asks for more rest when life has become heavier than we realize. Sleep is not only a physical process. It is a form of communication between your body and your emotional world. Sleep is not just rest, it is communication. Your sleep duration quietly reflects what your mind is handling, what it is healing from, and what it can no longer ignore. Whether you sleep too little, just enough, or more than usual, your brain is telling you something. Understanding your sleep is a way to understand yourself. If you want more videos that explain the hidden signals your mind sends you every day, hit subscribe. Not for me, 
but for the part of you that's ready to be more aware, more grounded, and more conscious.